Hello, this is the second or third time I've done this first part here. I've had a lot of problems this morning working on the, these videos, but uh, it's 12, almost 1 o'clock now, and it's getting a little toasty in here, so I want to get this done and run down to the, well, the library's closed. Oh, by the way, the library's closed today because it's James Earl Ray Day. So I want to wish all of you a, a very, very, very happy James Earl Ray Day. And isn't it wonderful the government... Uh, um, put aside a whole day so you uh, government workers can have the day off on such an honorable um, event, a great historical event in the United States um, um, history. Um, so anyway, I want to welcome all of you. Thank you for watching, subscribing, sharing, uh, supporting this channel. Thank you for those uh, two mites yeah, you sent in the other day. That was pretty funny. Uh, and... Um, so I've already recorded this video, the, the, the other part, and I had to insert this because it was messed up. But anyway, here we are. I'm just going to uh, stop this, shut my mouth, and play the rest of the video. And I'll see you at the end. Uh, here I want to give my um, suggestions for president of the uh, United States in 2020. I don't know if Trump's going to run again. doesn't matter. And maybe these other people can run against him because, you know, uh, Trump is considered by most people a white guy, and the, and the white us white guys haven't been doing a very good job. You know, it's time I think to uh, set aside the white males, uh, the deplorables, and the uh, the um, the uh, the men who are uh, uh, denigrated and. Uh, just um what's the words i'm looking for folks uh attacked uh made light of marginalized as much as possible in our society because you know what we've we've really screwed up this country and uh and you you uh, uh white male uh white females uh we're going to give you and all the other non-whites a chance because you white females have been told uh, by the esau edomites that you can do everything a white male can do only better. In fact, us white males, we shouldn't even be, uh, you know, considered by you at all for a mate to have uh, our children. You need to mix with uh, the, the black race, the, the negroid race. I always loved mashed potatoes, but they never loved me back. It was one complicated relationship. So I came up with Oh That's Good, a new line of comfort sides with a nutritious twist. We snuck some yummy cauliflower into our mashed potatoes. But you'll only taste the love. See what I mean? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Comfort food that loves you back. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. And the Asians and the, uh, and the mestizos, because then you'll have, a, you'll, have a re you'll have a better baby. There. But you'll only taste the love. See what I mean? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Comfort food that loves you back. That's good. Oh, that's good. And see, okay, but I, I digress. But let's get back to the, the president of the United States, because the way this country's going, uh, we actually need a uh, different mix of people. And the first one that I would suggest that we should have for the president, and it's already been out there, and this is what gave me the idea, and that is Oprah. Oprah. Now, Oprah would make an awesome president of the United States for, uh, when you consider the way things are going. She hates white people. In fact, she said that white people who are racist, we just need to die off. We need to die. As long as people can be judged by the, by the color of their skin, the problem's not solved. There are still generations of people, older people, who were born and bred and marinated in it, in that prejudice and racism. And they just have to die. See, it's people like me who are the problem. Uh, we have our view that we love our white race and that we, uh, we don't think uh, that blacks can, can do anything uh, really productive except uh, play sports. They can run and catch a ball and they can do music. I have no problem with that. They're pretty, uh, you know, hey, they, they know how to play instruments and they know how to... Um, um, uh, play the guitar, Jimi Hendrix, and all the rest of that. 
And but they don't know how to make a country, and that's why their countries are all shitholes. So this country is becoming a shithole. So why don't we? And we got a lot of indications that this country's where this country's headed. Go to Detroit, my hometown. Go to Baltimore. Go to parts of Chicago. Go to East Los Angeles. Go to Oakland, California. Parts there. You wouldn't dare as a white person to go to at least Los Angeles or parts of Detroit. Uh, but I don't want to go too far down that dark alley at 2 a.m. So let's move on to back to Oprah. See, Oprah is loved by millions of white people, and she's on there every day brainwashing. So she's got a platform. She, she, she's she's a, almost a shoe in Oprah said that old racists just have to die to further racial progress. And a lot of people are upset about this. She was in the UK to promote the butler. And she told her interviewer, Will Gompertz, that there needs to be some demographic pruning in order to get rid of racism fully. And what she means is that racists have to die to truly eradicate racism. Now, Hannity ran a commercial in response, basically making Oprah seem like the second coming of Satan or something. Bill O'Reilly talked about it. Mark Levin talked about it. The Five on Fox News had, had multiple rants about it. I don't know if I've ever agreed with Oprah about anything of importance, Lewis, but she's making a point I've made, which is I didn't say racists must die, but what I said is you can change people's views, but to a certain extent, it does matter the environment you grow up in, and I called it the aging out of these kind of retrograde views, and Oprah is not wrong in what she's saying. Not at all. She should have worded it a little bit differently, but we've we've talked about the exact same thing. Um, and yeah, aging out, I guess that's a good way to put it. So let's move on. The other guy that I think we need to have, and I'm sorry, but you know what? He is a white guy, but this is the, one of the exceptions I've made, and him and uh, I'll tell you the other one here in a minute. Uh, Bill Nye, the science guy, he's got a, um, a uh, he had a Talmud vision program and he says, you know, you can do anything you want. So, and, and, um, uh, Bill Nye is an actor. Speedwalker, quick, take this dynamite and douse it in that bucket of water down there. Right. In America, you can be anything you want to be. Just remember, heel toe, heel toe. <laughs> Speedwalker. So, perfect fit. President of the United States acting. Look, at Trump was on TV. We got we got Oprah on TV. We got Bill Nye on on the Talmud Vision. Um, and he's the science guy. He's the one holding up this uh, false paradigm of the spinning spear. <laughs> this looks like a job for. Speed Walker! <laughs> yes, it's Speed Walker! The physically fit superhero who fights crime while maintaining strict adherence to the regulations of the International Speed Walking Association! Heel toe! Heel toe! Speed Walker! Going somewhere? Speed Walker! So, my second uh, suggestion is Bill Nye, the science guy, the, the street walker. I'm sorry, the, uh, the uh, what's the other? Uh, street walker? Uh, I forget. Uh, I'll come back to it in a minute, if I remember. And then, of course, Chelsea Manning. Uh, she, he, it... I understand is running for some house, a congressman or something, some state. I can't remember which one. So we got that. We got that transgender, the transgender trending. 
So we need to have a transgender. We probably already have had a couple trans. And, you know, Trump, you know, there's a lot of question about Trump. But we won't go there right now because that's over the top for most of you people. But uh, I got a video on there on Ivan, Ivan Ka. But we'll leave it there. So anyway, Chelsea Manning. And who was that other guy uh, that, uh, in the Olympics back in the late 70s, 80s? He, he would make a good one, too. But I can't remember his name because he changed it. See, he, she. I can't remember whether it was a he or a she or an it. But anyway, so we got Chelsea Manning. And then we got, uh, we got, um, and this one uh, is maybe the best one. I don't know. But he's a white guy. Governor Brown of California. Now, 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 California, man, California is way out there, and I wouldn't even go to California anymore. And he used to be the, the governor back in the 80s. We used to call him Governor Moonbeam. So he's done more to ruin California than probably um, most people have. And so he's a perfect, he's a perfect uh, individual. We got, maybe some of these guys can kind of, Hook up the ones that don't make it. Maybe they can be the vice president or they can put them on the I'm going to do some uh, Illuminati hand signals here for you. We, you know, they can put together a real platform, a real uh, new party, maybe even, you know. And uh, hey, who knows? You know, this is America. Anything can happen. Right. So anyway, Governor Brown. Uh, he immigration, you know, uh, sanctuary state. We can make the whole thing friggin' United States into a sanctuary country. Just let them all in. They don't, it doesn't matter if they're sick, tuberculosis, uh, HIV, AIDS, doesn't matter. Let them all in. And Missoula, Montana will take them. I'll tell you, uh, those people up there love this crap. They're going to vote for, for Brown. Missoula, Montana is mostly white. They love letting in these non-whites, and they'll probably vote for uh, any, any one of these here. The, all of them have a great chance of getting in. And uh, and then I was thinking, you know, who else? We, how about Kevin Spacey? You know, Kevin Spacey there, the pedophilia aspect of that. And there's another guy. Um, uh, we need a sports guy. Maybe you guys can suggest. Uh, my buddy mentioned a sports guy, and I can't remember his name. Maybe Kneeler. I, I can't remember. So help me out on that. Leave a comment. And let's work on this together and see what we can come up with for maybe the top 10 candidates for president of the United States in 2020. Shall we? Almost forgot the mic. Okay, it's almost 2 o'clock, so I'm out of here. I hope you um, were entertained by this video, but hey, I'm serious. Let's, let's work together and see if we can't get a, a group, maybe the top 10 uh, um, uh, candidates. It'll be kind of fun, won't it? We got a couple years left. Two, what is it? Almost three years left. Let's work on this ongoing project, shall we? I want to thank you for watching, supporting, sharing, and for sending in your two mites. May the grace of God, our Father, the uh, God who made a, an agreement, a covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who were not Jewish, may his grace be upon us all, because I think it should be pretty darn obvious that we most certainly need it. See ya. Oh, thanks, Speedwalker.